What's up, YouTube? It's me, Kenneth, with North Texas Barbecue Addicts. Before we get going, I want to give a special shout out to my buddy Preston Warner. He's been looking out for this kind of cook on the channel for a long time. We've got our two burner propane monument grill flat top cooker. We're going to bust it out and we're going to make us some beef and broccoli. Y'all aren't going to want to miss this. This turned out awesome. If you've been wanting to see some flat top cooking on the channel, it's about to be coming in hot. So y'all stick around. Without talking too much, guys, let's go ahead and get to this cook. Alright addicts, so we've got our Monument Grills 2 burner uh, propane flat top cooker fired up to about a little over a medium and it's just getting heated up now so what we want to do to start off for this uh, beef and broccoli kind of stir fry is put a little bit of avocado oil onto the surface of the uh, flat top here. And this uh, flat top is already seasoned so this is just to make sure that we don't get any kind of uh, burning or anything when we add our meat. It'll give something to uh, really coat the meat in while it's cooking. So we're just going to put that around in the middle there. Again, we're rolling at about a medium temperature. We're going to let that oil heat up and I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, so we've got that all mixed around on our flat top here. And the flat top's nice and heated. We're going to go ahead and go in with our marinated beef. And this is some thin slices of beef here. Uh, just got it at my local grocery store. It's been marinating for about 20 minutes in some minced garlic, some orange ginger marinade, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And then I did add a little bit of lemon pepper garlic from Suckle Busters in there as well. And we'll be adding a little bit more to it once we get everything cooking up. But let's start off by uh, getting our beef onto the flat top cooker here. That's exactly what I was looking to hear. Let's get that spread out. Man, you can smell that ginger, the orange, the Worcestershire. So we're gonna spread this out so we can get to cooking. I love me some beef and broccoli. We'll be doing a lot of cooks on this flat top in the future. This is just the first of many. As you can see, it's thinly sliced beef, so this won't take forever. And with all that marinade, that is going to slow the cook down uh, right off the bat originally, but it'll start cooking again and heating up. So we're just going to get this uh, stirred around and cooked up. And when it's time to add our next ingredients to it, I'll come back with y'all. Y'all stick around. All right, so we've been cooking for about five minutes, and I've been stirring it around this entire time. You can see it's partially cooked right now, which is exactly when I want to add my next ingredients. We're going to go in with some shredded matchstick style carrots. You can shred your own. I'm lazy, I like to get them already shredded. So I'm going to put a handful or a handful and a half of these carrots in here to get them softening up. It doesn't take a lot. That's the beautiful thing about flat top cooking. A lot of it's really quick. So, And next after that, we're going to add some uh, thinly sliced mushrooms. I'm just going to break them apart like that and put them in here. This is really a good way to also um, have your kids eating mushrooms and they don't even realize it. My son loves this dish. By the time it cooks down, it doesn't taste like anything but beef and broccoli. So I uh, hide mushrooms in them all the time. He doesn't even realize he's eating them. So that's just a little parent pro tip for you. If you got kids that are picky, you can still get them eating stuff and they don't even realize it and they're still enjoying it. So we're going to toss some of these in here. And now we're going to get them mixed around. And I'll probably add some more to it here in a second. Before we mix it around, this is a must-have in stir-fry sesame seed oil. Put some of that in there. Really elevates any kind of a dish that you're trying to make stir-fry like. So let's get that mixed up. This is smelling awesome. Let's get this mixed up here. The beef's cooking through. And we have a uh, little grease trap back here catching all the juices here, so don't worry about that running off. It's back there, it's catching it, it's doing its job. Man, it smells good. All right, we're just trying to incorporate those mushrooms and the carrots before we add our next ingredients. 
And this beef is almost all the way cooked through, so we got just about, I'd say five or 10 minutes left on this entire cook. So we got us some amazing beef and broccoli that you can really be proud of and serve your family, your friends. You got a game night, you got poker night, you got football, basketball, baseball. This is a quick meal that everybody's gonna enjoy. Or just like I said, cook it for your family. Kids love it. You can add all kinds of things to it, make it your own. This is just a very basic beef and broccoli recipe that I go to often that my family likes. So there we go. All right, I'm gonna let that cook up for about two more minutes and I'll catch back up with y'all. All right, y'all, we're back. It's been about two minutes. I've been just mixing it around, making sure all the beef contacts, the flat top surface. We're gonna add a little bit more flavor to our uh, beef and broccoli here, a little bit of light soy sauce. Just keep in mind the seasoning you're using. If it has a lot of salt, um, you don't need a ton of it. So there we go. Let's just add it to the flavor profile. Let's get that mixed around into our beef as well. Man, smell the ginger, the orange, the sesame seed oil, the beef, that seasoning, that lemon pepper garlic. I'll have all the information down below in the description box as always for this recipe. We're just trying to cook this up, get it nice and incorporated before we add our final ingredients. Looks like that beef is pretty much done. All right, let's add the next ingredients. So before I started this cook, I did partially steam some broccoli and uh, we're gonna add that in. Wanted to partially steam it to soften it up. There we go. That is a thing of beauty, guys. All right, this won't, this won't take long at all anymore. We're at the end. Again, this broccoli is partially steamed already, so we don't have to worry about really cooking it. We're just trying to incorporate it with our beef, our carrots, our mushrooms, the ginger, the marinade, the seasoning, the sesame seed oil. We're gonna add a little bit of all that to it again once we get it all incorporated, but we're just trying to mix it up. Again, guys, a flat top cooker. This is where it's at. You can cook so many things very quickly weeknight meals, weekends, late at night by the pool or the hot tub or whatever, make breakfast, anything. But today we're making some beef and broccoli and it's already looking amazing. If y'all could smell this, again, check this recipe out, give it a shot. You can cook this in a cast iron skillet if you want, a uh, pot on your stove, however you'd like to. We're just using a flat top today. Now that we did add that broccoli, it didn't have any seasoning or anything, so we're going to add a little bit more of our sesame seed oil. Just to really incorporate all these flavors that everything else has already. And we're going to hit this over the top with some of our lemon pepper garlic. This seasoning goes great in uh, beef and broccoli, so give that a nice little dusting of the lemon pepper garlic. All right guys, and just like that, it's literally not difficult to make at all. So we're gonna get the seasoning all mixed up and uh, I'm gonna plate us up a bowl and we're gonna give it a taste. Y'all stick around. All right guys, it's just as simple as that. Pick what you like in beef and broccoli and make it your own. But we did carrots, mushrooms, broccoli, beef, ginger marinade, fresh ginger minced in there as well, some Worcestershire sauce, some soy sauce, and we just marinated it just for a little bit before we even uh, put it on the cooker with some uh, partially steamed broccoli, and that is a thing of beauty. Let's get this camera turned around and it's time to give this a try. Man, that smells good. And just like that, literally in about 15 minutes, we've got some amazing beef and broccoli carrots, all the good stuff in it. I'm a sucker for soy sauce, so I'm gonna put a little bit over the top before we do our taste test here. Check that out, beautiful color. Smells insane right now. A little bit of soy sauce on there. You build it how you want though, don't, uh, don't be shy. Cook it how you want to. I'm gonna need a picture of that. All right guys, I can't smell this anymore without giving it a try. It is a Wednesday afternoon. I've literally been waiting to eat because I knew this was gonna happen, so I'm excited to give it a shot. 
Got some broccoli, some beef, some carrots. See if I can get a mushroom in here somewhere. There we go. Man. All right, guys. Again, 15 minutes. Y'all saw the ingredients. Everything will be down below in the description box. Check out the beautiful color. Cheers, y'all. And this is just the beginning. You can add so much to it. Some water chestnuts, some snap peas, anything you like, you can add it into it. Cook it on the grill. We use the Monument Grill, the two burner, flat top grill. I'll have the information down below in the description box for it as well. This is a success. Appreciate y'all stopping by and watching it. Until next time, guys. Mm. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Until next time, peace. Y'all keep on barbecuing.